What is up everyone, today we're showcasing my absolute favorite line to run in the Holiday Cup. Currently, this team was originally just meant to be a meme team designed to absolutely destroy any team with a Charmer. But it did so good against everything else as well. I ran this team for 11 sets. I went positive in 9 of them. And I got a couple 5 O's along the way as well. And I gained so many points with it. It functioned so well. And it was incredibly fun to run. The team is Rock Throw, Alolan Golem with Rock Blast and Wild Charge. That's also why I'm not running Graveler, by the way. Whilst Graveler does also have access to Rock Throw, uh, it doesn't have Wild Charge, uh, which I think is pretty necessary uh, for Golem. Though, if you don't have one, I think Graveler could still work fine. You don't use Wild Charge that often, uh, but it is nice to have for the heavy hitting electric damage. Then, Roserade with Poison Jab. Weather Ball Fire and Sludge Bomb on the save switch, which is such an underrated pick in this meta. This thing has play versus basically everything. Its only real counter in this meta is Alola Marowak, which is not that common. Versus everything else, even the Flyers, it has so much play. A Talonflame cannot take a Sludge Bomb, for example. If you save switch your, uh, your Roserade, they bring in Talonflame. What often ends up happening is you get to the Sludge Bomb, they don't shoot it, you can shoot their Flame Charge, you can Potion Jab them down, you, can, you take Switch back. Or sometimes you can even kill with the Sludge Bomb before they get to the Flame Charge. It is so good. It can also uh, win the one-shoot scenario versus Altaria. Uh, versus Skarmory, you can pressure it with Weather Balls. It is just such a good uh, pick. And then I'm running Venusaur in the back. This is a double grass team, so it functions like, a, like an ABB. You want to uh, keep your golem alive for a potential anti-grass. You want to lure out the anti-grass with Roserade. And then once you've lured it out, Venusaur can hopefully sweep. All right, that's how it works. Let's just head into these battles. Before we start with the commentary, though, I want to ask you all, if you end up enjoying this video, please consider hitting the like and the subscribe. It really does help out the channel. Anyway, this next game, we actually led it to a victory roll, which is not awesome. Go to Rose, Incomes Aerodactyl, not great. I thought... That final rock throw would not kill and we'd be able to get to the sludge, but unfortunately I wasn't, so I didn't fire my weather ball. Not great, but it should still be okay. I bring in my golem and since it's fixed well, Aerodactyl, I'm actually expecting another rock type in the back, which should be a party uh, for Venusaur. Uh, since I farm down the Aerodactyl, I'm gonna be able to get to the Rock Blast versus this Victory Bell. In comes the Grav, and this is really really nice they're running rock throw as well which is even better for me actually volt switch can get to a stone edge and a rock blast before i can get to two frenzies if they have a little bit of energy uh but with the rock blast they're very very slow we, get, we go for the frenzy we take the shield and now we go for the sludge because you know we gotta bm a little bit when we can gg all right vigor the lead very bad we go into rose they bring in alt and now you're gonna see the power uh, of the rose you go for the one sludge bomb they never expect this. They never shield. And after we throw this sludge bomb, you can actually farm this down with Rose. It's really nice. Gonna have to shield once though. That is for sure. But also very smart. If they would not have thrown their sky attack right there, I would have just gone for the weather ball uh, to take a shield or kill him without having to use a shield of my own. As you can see, I am very low HP. Uh, so my Rose won't be that useful anymore. Uh, but I do still get a weather ball off on this Alola Nine Tails and probably take a shield back or a bunch of health. So this is quite good. And we've now flipped switch. I can bring in my Golem versus this Alola Nine Tails. This is also armoring Rock Throw, by the way. It's just way better versus Alola Nine Tails and Ice types uh, than the the Volt Switch variant, as well as versus Altaria. It comes Vigoroth again, and well, they had have, uh, have some energy, which is kind of uh, well. Tough, that could be pretty tough if they can get to three body slams before my two frenzies. Uh, but I think I should be fine. Gonna frenzy this Vigoroth. And I don't know, I haven't really been keeping that well track of energy. They might get to a third there, but I think I think we might see him be tie on the on the frenzy. Let's see. Yeah, I barely do get there. This will kill the Vigoroth. Now they're still on a load of nine tails, which if it farms me down, could probably get to uh, a dazzling gleam uh, versus my golem. But I'm barely going to be able to reach the friends right here. Take out the Alola Nine Tails, And that is another win in the books. G. G. All right. What is the next match? A Lantern lead. Oh, this is the best lineup. <laughs> Lantern double charm. Lantern double charm. You see it all the time. And once I switch in that rose, this actually, this happened twice. 
where I switch in my rows first and lantern, and they were just all right. I'm out. I can't beat this because they cannot. Rose red just completely walls that line, and it is amazing. It is the best thing ever. All right. Anyway, <laughs> next game, Abomasoli. They go to Jellicent. I go to Venusaur, and this is looking pretty pretty nice so far i'm not gonna shield it because i think even if it's, an, if it's an ice beam i can take this and i have two answers for a bonus though anyway if they end up bubbling me down like that's uh that's okay uh but now i'm a double frenzy i think i end up making a huge mistake here i don't know what i was doing i threw a frenzy assuming they'd shield anyway um <laughs> but uh, they, 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 they don't uh they don't uh yeah that's not great that's not great uh, so now i'm gonna actually have to shield my uh my golem uh yeah i definitely misplayed that shooter sludge because i didn't wasn't gonna reach too much moves anyway and now we're in trouble this is the downside of not having leaf storm or grass not of rose raid i actually lose versus stun fisk which is not that big of a deal most of the stun fisk i've seen uh, i consider by the way because it's just over most of the stun fisk i've seen uh so far are in the lead and then i usually just switch into roserade and they end up switching out anyway they don't know i don't have a grass move they they assume roserade counters it so they switch out and then i get venusaur aligned later uh but yes yeah, stunfist is actually a core breaker for uh golem and rose so definitely try to get your venusaur on it if you expect there to be a stunfisk in the lineup all right lit leo re good lead in comes the wiggly tough well we love to see this. Rose Raid can actually farm this down all the way. No need to, to throw a move if you if you uh, switch soon enough. But uh, well, I I I I wasn't counting the moves, but they were only at like eight charms. I could have I could have farmed it down completely. Uh, but uh, most of these games they were uh, they were streamed on my uh, on my Twitch uh, live stream, and honestly. Uh, I'm not always paying attention. I was reading chat and, you know, just uh, having fun. Uh, so I'm not always counting. So I just threw my move there uh, because I wasn't really focused. But if I was, I would have probably counted and, and known that uh, they weren't there yet. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is looking quite good. This is another uh, double charm line. <laughs> this is another double charm line. As you can see, we just absolutely uh, obliterated. Uh, yeah, GG. I still have a Venusaur in the back for that thing as well. All right, Trevenant lead is kind of a core breaker because it can beat both my Golem and my Rose. But it's really not that bad because with shields, Golem can do so much damage with the Rock Throws and they have to shield the Rock Blast. Uh, and Venusaur, if I get shields down, can just Sludge Bomb it and it does so much damage. And Rose is a counter because a Weather Ball, of course, is super effective and does a lot of damage. I'm going to try to catch this next Seed Bomb, but because we were desynced there, I... I couldn't, unfortunately. Or we were, like, off-sync. Uh, unfortunately, they lagged the turn. Uh, but, uh, yes, we still farm it down, which is okay. Still not awesome, though. And this is why we, why we have Wild Charge, actually. Uh, because it's just such hard-hitting damage. Uh, well, that didn't do that much, but it's a Licky Tongue. On Licky Tongue standards, that's, pretty, that's quite a lot. In comes a Talon Flame. And, and, and why, would, why would they shield? I'm just gonna kill it with Sludge from right here. Unfortunately, they do shield. <laughs> Alright, not ever. Unfortunately, not every Talon Flame no shields, uh, which really sucks. Because uh, if they no shield at that, uh, this would have been a really nice situation for me. But now, it's gonna be quite difficult. I think this Flame Charge already are, almost takes me out. And. Oh, I barely don't kill him. Oh my goodness. If I would have just gone for the double Weather Ball, I might have actually been very safe there. But uh, yeah, the Brave Bird, they kill me, GG. All right, another Egalarian Stunfisk lead. I go into Rose. Uh, and this just switch out. It always happens. Maybe not after this video anymore, but that usually does happen. Uh, I go for the Sludge. Do they let it go? They don't. Oh, man. <laughs> they shoot it up again. Trust me. A couple a couple did let it go. And then you then you can farm down. But this is, uh, this is, this is worst case scenario, of course. Uh, because, well, I do have a shoot advantage. But uh, they have switch advantage, and if they have another grass type answer in the back, I'm not looking that good. However, a pretty common Sunfish lead team is Talonflame and Frostlass in the back, and if it's that, Venusaur with shield advantage will win. So let's see. I just let that go. I want shield advantage, and it's a Dugo, which isn't a Frostlass, but it is an Ice type. It's also water, so these frenzies will do so much. I'm looking pretty really good at this point uh, of course i will shoot this up 
The only thing I'm worried about is that that Stunfisk might have a little bit of energy. And that I'm uh, gonna be debuffed or maybe even double debuffed after I hit this Frenzy. Because I'm not even sure if this knocks out uh, the Dugong at this point before they can get to another Icy Wind. Luckily, it does. I'm not sure if Frenzy knocks out this though. Actually, it probably does. But I want to play this safe. I win the charge move priority uh, against uh, this Stun Fist. So I'm just going to switch out to the Magolem, clear the debuff and throw the Frenzy uh, now that my attack is not dropped anymore. This is just the safest way to go about it. We kill the Fisk and that's a GG from our bad lead once again. Oh, another Fisk. Oh, let's go into Roserade once again. It's a Steel Wing Skarmory, which does counter Rose because I think in a two shooter she straight up wins, but it's way better than Air Slash. It's way better than Air Slash uh, for Roserade, of course. I think a Steel Wing Skarm is actually a really uh, solid play in this meta uh, because it does really good against Ice types and Charmers. Like you can just straight up farm down a Frost Slash, for example, which uh, if you lead Stunfisk is quite important. But versus Rose, it is the dream because I get to another Weather Ball here before they get to the next Sky Attack. They have to shield. And now their shield's down. So this is uh, this is looking kind of kind of okay for me. I mean, I've lost switch, but Venusaur with a shield up looks pretty good. Unless it's a load of Marowak, I should be fine. Even if it's Talonflame, I can probably just double sludge it and I'll be all right. It's a Frost, and this is just really really good for me. I think Venusaur is also pretty underrated in this meta. To be honest, you don't see it that often. Uh, but like, not everyone brings like solid solid grass answers especially not two if there's a solid grass answer on a team it's usually just one like a talent flame skarmory and then they combine it with like a, a soft grass answer like a lapras like a dugong like a frostless which can beat it with shields up or uh, some energy lead but not when shields are down or 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 or, or when your opponent is an energy lead so that's why this team works so well you lure out the grass answer with roserade which, uh, well, Roserade, of course, has a lot of play versus most grass answers. And once it's gone, Venusaur doesn't have a solid answer anymore. And you just sweep with it. It's it just, it just easy easy work th uh, that way. All right. So what I should have done first at Vigoroth is undercharge a little bit. Uh, so I could do a couple more Vine Whips and get to this Frenzy. I think if you miss like three or four bubbles there, uh, depending on how... You have to switch like very, very quickly. If you switch very, very quickly, you can just farm up to two Frenzies, uh, throw a Frenzy, uh, miss like four bubbles, I think, and then you get like one or two extra Vine Whips uh, before they can get to the Body Slam even. Uh, and then you can uh, get to the next Frenzy versus uh, versus the Lapras there. Uh, that, is, that is how I would play it out versus uh, versus Lapras Lead. Or fig figure of, figure of, uh, Lapras Lead, Figural Safe Swap. Because uh, now I'm actually going to be in trouble because I didn't do that. Uh, I will get to the Weather Ball here, but... I don't think they have to shield. And even if they do, do I even have a move with, uh, with Golem? Do I have a move with Golem? I don't think so, right? They can just serve? Yeah, all right. Yeah, and we lose the game. Lepros is actually kind of problematic for this squad because serves, especially Shadow. Actually, regular is fine. Shadow is tough because the surf is just so much. Uh, but yeah, you kind of have to play around it. Anyway, next lead, another tough one, uh, Trevenant. Uh, we talked about this earlier. It does beat both Golem and Venusaur. But if you play around with shields, you should be fine. Uh, what I usually try to do here is catch a seed bomb on Rose. But it doesn't always work out. And if you, if, you, if you don't manage to do it, you just use another shield on Golem. Like I did here. Like I have to do here. And then I can... I think I can farm this down before I get to the next move. It's also kind of dependent on like moves sneaking through. Yeah, I, don't, I, I wasn't sure. We were kind of like stuttering a bit there. So I just switched out. Uh, just to be sure they didn't get a seed ball on my golem, I wanted it to keep that energy. And since I have two grass types in the back, it, like, it doesn't matter if I switch lock one. That's actually really nice. They shoot up my rose. That's really good. Bear. I don't know what happened here. I thought I wasn't going to reach my move. I think I could have reached the sludge. But that's fine. Uh, I get off the weather ball and this should put it in a range where a rock blast will knock out. So I'm just going to throw that. And since they switch in a Lapras versus my rose instead of like a hard... Grass answer, I'm suspecting that Venusaur will be pretty insane. And well, it's an Alola Night and Charm at that. So uh yeah, I am very, very, very okay. Here. I can take one weather ball and just frenzy this, and it should be another win in the books. I go for sludge for no reason. For no reason, but you know, we gotta we gotta we gotta show 
We gotta teach these charmers some respect, of course. <laughs> All right, uh, Ferrothorn. Yeah, this is uh, this is tough. This is extremely tough. Oh my, especially with some lag. Uh, Marowak switch or in the back is not that common, luckily. But if you see it, you will die. All right, you will not win most likely because uh, this thing can just straight up farm. Rosary down and have Bone Clubs ready for Golem, which is not awesome. But I'm just going to no-shoot the first one. Also, Ferrothorn is terrible. I actually managed to beat a couple Alola Marowax as a switch, uh, but usually because the rest of their line was just pretty weak to Golem and Venusaur. But with, uh, with, with Ferrothorn, that's also another amazing core breaker for my team, so... Yeah, we are not looking good. Uh, uh, yeah, with Helen Flame as well. That's not great. I actually managed to beat an Altaria double fire line with this team, which was kind of insane. It was Altaria, Marowak, and Talon Flame, and I actually managed to beat it uh, once. I, I faced that line like three times, I think, but I, I beat it once. And it's not going to be in this video because uh, actually I made this compilation of battles before I had that battle. But I'll likely make a, a, sh a separate short video of, of that soon. So sh stay tuned for that because it's a pretty epic battle. Anyway, this is Altaria with a Lantern Switch, which of course is really good for my Venusaur. However, uh, I, I, I feel like I should have maybe gotten Roserade. It's a less good matchup, but... Well, I don't know. The thing is... They, I, I felt like they were luring out a grass type with that, so I might have needed my more solid grass type for whatever's in the back, but it doesn't seem that way. It's a Talon Flame. The thing is, though, the Talon Flame already has a bunch of energy, uh, and one Flame Charge will do a lot. At this point, though, both Altaria and Talon Flame are very, very low. So, what I'll do is no shield this. I was expecting them to switch to Altaria immediately, so I switched to Rose immediately as well, uh, because I didn't want to get Dragon Breath down, and now I could just shield this up. Farm down with the jabs, and now I should probably be able to farm down the Talon Flame as well. And if I if I can't, oh, I just weather ball. That works as well. But if they if they like throw a flame charge, uh, I can probably farm down with uh, with Golem. So I'm fine either way. Yeah, I just throw a another weather ball right here, and it's a GG. Rose Raid taking out more fires. Let's go. All right, that was the final battle. Again, I do really recommend this team. It's so much fun to run and incredibly. Uh, solid, and it just obliterates all the double charmers, which is really, really nice. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Appreciate y'all. Happy holidays.